If you're still having the dropouts, it's time to talk about how Android Auto Wireless actually works. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if your Android Auto Wireless keeps cutting out, freezing, or just refusing to connect, trust me, you're not alone. A lot of users are facing this issue and today I'm breaking down why it happens and how to fix it for real. So we will go step by step through everything that actually works, tested, proven, and easy to follow so you can get back to a smooth wireless Android Auto experience. All right, so before diving into the advanced fixes, let's start with something that causes most Android Auto wireless problems, that is compatibility. And you would be surprised how many issues have come down to a simple mismatch between your phone, your car, or your Android Auto version. Not every Android phone supports wireless Android Auto. And it's not about just having the Android Auto app. Your phone's hardware and the Android version matters the most. So here's how you can check. Go to settings, about the phone, and Android version. Wireless Android Auto works the best on Android 11 and above. Uh, if your phone doesn't show the wireless projection option inside the Android Auto's developer settings, it is most likely to be unsupported. Next, your car needs to support the wireless Android Auto as well. Now, some models get it via the updates. Uh, others need first wired connection to unlock the wireless modes. To check, open your car's infotainment settings and look for the option like connect via Wi-Fi or wireless Android Auto. Most 2019 and newer models support it. Older models may need the firmware update from your nearest service center or from the dealership. And if you're using an aftermarket unit like a Pioneer or a Blop Hunt, make sure you have updated the firmware of those aftermarket uh, systems as well through a USB or an OTA if that supports. I'm also going to link the website, the official web page of Android Auto and the requirements with the full checklist that you can refer to when you're setting up your Android Auto for both wired and wireless. Even if your phone and car supports it, an outdated app can break the connection. So go to the Play Store, Android Auto, and update your Android Auto version if needed. Uh, version 11 or newer is fully optimized for the wireless projection. Now, some cars need the first connection to be wired before they will allow the wireless modes. So just connect once with able, complete your setup and unplug. It should connect wirelessly from the next time. Now, step number two, your phone and your car are compatible, but if you're still having the dropouts, it's time to talk about how Android Auto Wireless actually works. It's powered by two connections, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi Direct. Bluetooth is basically the handshake which means it's how your phone and the car recognize each other. It handles initial pairing and sends your Wi-Fi credentials to the car. Once that's done, Bluetooth steps aside. It just manages your calls, buttons on your steering wheel, and the contact sync. Now, Wi-Fi Direct is the real star here. It's what carries your maps, music, and the voice commands at high speed. So your phone creates a temporary Wi-Fi hotspot that the car connects to directly, no internet needed. That's your private high-speed link between the phone and the infotainment system. So let's talk about why connections fail or drop. When Bluetooth connects but Wi-Fi fails, Android Auto won't launch or sometimes it won't work. And if Wi-Fi drops during mid of your driving, your maps may freeze or maybe your music may stop. What are the common causes? Number one is the Wi-Fi interference, whether you're using the 2.4 gigahertz or the five gigahertz. Number two is the battery saver. Sometimes we turn on the battery saver so to limit the background activities and tasks that can uh, contribute in killing the Wi-Fi direct as well. Number three is the multiple car pairing in the Bluetooth memory. So if you have like a lot of cars where you have set up your Android Auto, that might be causing one of the issues as well. Number four is the old app cache, 
which means if you're having an app, uh, which is kind of like, you know, accumulating with a lot of cache for a really long time, uh, you know, that could be one of the reasons where Android Auto could fail or drop the connection. So what's the diagnosis tip? Start your car, Bluetooth should connect first, and then Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi doesn't show your car's name, Wi-Fi Direct is failing. So here are some of the three steps you can take to diagnose your issue much better. Bluetooth plus Wi-Fi active should work, right? So that's how it should be set up and that should be working absolutely fine. Only Bluetooth, it's just stuck in that handshake phase that we have just talked uh, prior. If it's Wi-Fi only, then your setup is com incomplete because Bluetooth is much required so that your device is at least paired with your car's infotainment system. Let's talk about the step number three. All right, now let's get a bit advanced. Because Android 13 and 14 caused a lot of connection issues for users who were working fine before. So when Google updated Android, they changed how Wi-Fi and battery permissions work. Now, Android Auto needs location and nearby device permission re-granted. And sometimes when you're updating or if you're on Android 13 or 14, it just uh, silently kills those permissions in the background. So again, if your phone suddenly stopped connecting wirelessly after an update, your car is fine. It's the Android that is acting up. So, Here's how you can fix it. Number one is re-enable the wireless projection. Open Android Auto. Scroll down to the bottom where it says version. Tap on the version for 10 times to unlock the developer mode. Click OK. And from the top right, click on developer settings. Make sure the wireless Android Auto is checked. Number two, reset permissions. Go to Settings, Apps, Android Auto Permissions, Allow Nearby Devices and Location Permissions. Number three, Disable Battery Optimization. Go to Settings, scroll down and go to Apps. Next, select Android Auto, select Battery. Make sure Unrestricted is selected. Number four is Clear Cache and the Temporary Data. Open your settings and go to Apps, Android Auto. Open Storage. On the right and down, select Clear Cache. Number five, force the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Number six, update your car infotainment systems firmly. So yeah, if your wireless Android Auto stopped working right after an update, don't worry, it's not your car's fault. It's not your infotainment's fault. Check these settings and it should be spring back to life. If nothing works, try these last options. Number one, clear the Android Auto cache again. Update your Google Play services. Use a wireless dongle of a different brand. For example, if you're using a Protronics, try using um, an AutoCast and they should be working fine. And if you're a bit technical, you can even change your phone's Wi-Fi region to boost that signal strength as well. Now, before we wrap up, a few quick pro tips. Keep your phone close to the infotainment system for stronger signal. Avoid power saving modes or cleanup apps. When doing the first setup, use a very high quality USB cable. The best would be the one that comes in the box. For example, if you're buying a Samsung or an iPhone, use the original proprietary USB cables. If one of these fixes worked for you, drop your phone model and the car name in the comments so others can benefit as well. Also, memberships are now open so you'll get priority replies, member-only shots, and even shoutouts in the upcoming videos. Hit subscribe if you love real-world tech fixes. Thanks for watching and happy driving!